Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, your newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukataya, and on behalf of my team here at JSA, welcome, welcome. We have Miss Ali Fenn, president of IT Renew, joining us here today. Ali, such a pleasure. Thanks so much, Jamie. Nice to see you again. Oh, it's great to see you. And gosh, things have been really moving forward over at IT Renew. You guys have been leading the conversation driving transformation about global circular IT ecosystem. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about IT Renew and of course your mission? Sure, we are a company that's been in business about 20 years. We provide a suite of data center services and IT hardware solutions to data center operators everywhere from hyperscale to enterprise and telco and, and other cloud service providers. And we are on a mission to orchestrate a global circular IT hardware industry. Yeah, and certainly the benefits are many, but for our viewers who might not know, what are the benefits of adopting a circular data center economy? And who should be considering this model? Sure, uh, benefits are very straightforward. Uh, a circular model maximizes financial value in the form of lifetime value of, of IT hardware assets, um, and it maximizes sustainability. So whether you are a, a hyperscale data center operator that has large fleets of equipment that you decommission at end of life and you want to maximize the value of those assets for as long as possible, or whether you are a, a lesser scale data center operator globally and you're constrained by budgets and the idea of circular or recertified no compromise hardware could free up your budgets to do other things, you know, from all sides of the equation, both people, both sides care very much about the financial value of circularity. And then as a global community, we should all care about the sustainability impact because when you think about moving from a very linear, single lifetime kind of a take, make, use, dispose model into a model that is circular and creates multiple loops of life for equipment um, and defers the, imp the negative impacts of new manufacturing and so forth, there's a huge advantage from a, a global climate perspective. And so we we all win in, in a circular model. I'm definitely sold on the benefits, financial, sustainable, environmental, but what's holding us back? What are the challenges for data center owners? And why aren't they embracing circular economic IT model? It seems like such a, a duh, if you will. And, and how does IT Renew go ahead and solve these problems? Sure. Yeah, so um, it's, it intuitively makes sense, right? Uh, from an operations perspective, it's in a tactical perspective, it's a little harder. So if you're on that upstream side, if you're a hyperscaler, you're definitely in the business of designing great hardware, but you're not in the business of selling that hardware, creating secondary markets for it, being able to tr transform it into solutions that, that enterprise type customers uh, environments need that are not akin to yours. And you're definitely not in the business or want to be in the interest of supporting that equipment and truly you know, being an IT hardware provide, solution provider, right? So it's not your core competence. Um, and you're left with kind of the old world way of saying, well, I'm gonna get rid of this stuff, so I better just respons responsibly recycle it and maybe I can recoup some value in the components, but you're leaving a tremendous amount on the table because it's just not your business model, right? And on the flip side, if you are you know, running a, a smaller scale data center, you know, you're sort of betwixt in between, right? You're you're captive to older proprietary expensive models um, of hardware. And if you've thought, thought about circular or recertified as being of interest, being a way that you could lower your costs or improve sustainability, it has heretofore never been available in a way that could be, you know, supported, bet your business on because it's got, you know, you have predictability of scale, homogeneity of solutions, and so forth. So the the context has changed to enable IT Renew to emerge as really the connective tissue between those two worlds. So we have deep relationships with the hyperscalers, we operationalize all of their decommissioning, and we have invested a tremendous amount in hardware and software engineering and sales and customer support to transform that equipment into solutions that now are useful, usable, accessible by the broader markets in a way that they never could have been before. And so the hyperscalers get maximum lifetime value throughout the life of an asset. They are able to recover some of that value. And the downstream customers are able to significantly end the, extend the impact of their, of their IT infrastructure because they're getting 
no compromise solutions in a way that they can bet their business on at really significant total cost of ownership gains. So really the solution is go go talk to IT Renew. <laughs> <laughs> They'll straighten you out. And to, to that effect, you guys are heading to OCP Global Summit in San Jose the first week of March coming up in days away. Um, and of course, you guys have been supporting OCP Global Summit uh, and the Open Com Compute uh, uh, community for some time. You're attending, speaking, keynoting, uh, and sponsoring. How will the summit's open collaboration platform really help you amplify this message of leveraging open hardware for data center technology? You know, open is is prerequisite number one for everything that we're talking about here. We are huge fans of the OCP Foundation and the community, um, everything that we're talking about is enabled by open, right? If we were in a world of proprietary hardware designs and proprietary firmware, we would be unable to do the transformation and recertification that is essential to creating viable, interesting, you know, valuable secondary markets for circular equipment. And so um, the, open found, the Open Compute Foundation is, and community is a key piece of this. You know, as an example, the Open Systems Firmware Working Group within within OCP is 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 constituents from lots of different types of of community members who are all working to advance the idea and the viability of of open systems firmware like BIOSes and BMCs and so forth. And what that does is enables better security. It enables secondary markets. It enables supportability. It's the work that the community is doing that we're actively involved with, but is by no means just us, is super instrumental in all of this. Absolutely. So our viewers, if you're, if you're not part of the open compute community and you have an interest, definitely join. It's phenomenal. Um, and of course, i 2 Renew will be at the OCP Global Summit March 4th and 5th. Where are you guys located and how can our viewers uh, get in touch with you? <laughs> We will have a big booth right next to the Facebook booth in the exhibit hall. So uh, lots of equipment and people there to talk to and, and toys to see. Um, please come see us there. And then we'll also be, I'll be giving a keynote specifically talking about all the sustainability impact of going circular and some, some what I think is pretty groundbreaking data on quantifying the impact of it. And then we have an expo hall talk, an executive track session and three engineering sessions. So whatever, your particular interest is, uh, we should be there to, to chat with you and we're eager to do so. Uh, very exciting, very exciting. As always, such a pleasure to talk with you, Ali. Thank you so much for your time and, and insight. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcast. Happy networking. Thank you, Jim.